how's it going guys? Well, welcome back and today we got something different. This is the DJI Mini 2. So it's a huge shout out to DJI for sending out this tiny little foldable drone. I'm very excited because I had the Phantom 3 and I'm excited to have a smaller drone which I can fit in a large cargo pants or in a small backpack so when I go on a trip or something, I can get some cool aerial footage. 4K resolution which is a huge upgrade over the 2.7K, which was on a previous model. Plus you got 31 minutes of run time. Can fly up to 35 miles per hour, which is pretty quick. And it can handle up to 23 miles per hour of wind. Your Android or iPhone, just scan a QR code. And it looks like this guy has a micro SD card slot, has a nice little carrying bag. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and we'll see what the DJI Mini 2 is all about. So where do I start? Let's start from the top here. Get this plastic wrapping over. Now, let me know down in the comments if you guys ever use a drone, what type of drone you have. Um, I had heard that DJI is a pretty good company. I had the Phantom 3, loved it. Um, the only downside about the Phantom 3 is you need a pretty large backpack. But with this guy, it folds up so you can probably stick it in your purse, maybe a small uh, bag or something. Oh, okay, let's see. It just pulls out there. Wow, that's actually a really cool boxing experience. Sweet. Go ahead and open up the top here. This is the drone itself. Look at that guys, this thing is super tiny. I was not expecting this thing to be that small. That's actually quite impressive. So, you got a 4K camera right there. Has a three axis motorized gimbals and these uh, arms fold out. I wonder if I can do that on camera here. Yep, they just kind of fold out right. All right, so there we go. Pretty small with the arms fold out and we do have a battery pack in the back here. And it looks like we have a micro USB to charge. 32 gigabyte memory card installed. But you can get a bigger one if you want. So very nice looking drone here. Let's check out the camera. I think we have to pull out this tape here. Alright, pull out this cover. There's our three axis gimbal camera right there. You can rotate, you can go up and down. So very, very nice. And it's 4K resolution. Right in, let's see. There we go. And I guess this way you can turn it on is right here. Press the button. Going to open up this compartment. Paper in there. So it looks like we could either add some more batteries, maybe a charging cable in this slot. Let's check out the main compartment. Alright, so it looks like we have a booklet. Very, very nice. Kind of gives you everything you need to know. Yep. Sweet. And here's the quick start guide. Right here. This is probably the most useful for me since I don't like to read instruction manuals. Kind of tells you how to get started, scan the QR code using your iPhone or uh, smartphone or Android or something. Nice. All right, let's see what else is included. We have a uh, USB Type-C charging cable. And here's our controller. Has some good weight to it. Very, very nice. So we have some thumbsticks, which we can remove. Uh, we have some functions right here. Uh, looks like we could take a photo right there and a function key. We got return to land, one touch right there, uh, on and off. And we got a power button. And this particular model or this controller uses a smartphone. And there's actually a data port, which kind of charges the smartphone. But you can see this kind of pull, pulls out and you can put the smartphone right there. So very handy. So yeah, it feels very, very nice. And it looks like down here is where we hold our thumbsticks. Is in this little handle right there. We just kind of screw it in there. So cool. Let's put the other thumbstick in here. And then you screw in. So yes, very nice. I think you can do mode two or mode one depending on what uh, style you use. So for mode, mode two, you have the throttle on the left. I think uh, mode one, the throttle is on the right. But I'll double check. Alright, so that's basically everything for the belt controller. Let's go ahead and get this charged up. I'll show you how to pair up with the smartphone and we'll see what the DJI Mini 2 is all about. Hold on one second. Okay, so the setup process is pretty straightforward. Just scan the QR code and it will take you to the DJI Fly app. Once you have it installed, you'll be introduced to this little video clip here. Well, 
Well, I guess that introduction would definitely wake you up with all that exciting music. Okay, so here's the main home screen. So let's go ahead and uh, pair up our model. Now, we are using the Mini 2 in this video, but you can see DJI does have several consumer-based drones. They also have professional drones like the DJI Inspire and the Phantom 4. Alright, so let's go and select the Mini 2 here. And there's a nice animation, kind of walks you through how to set up your controller. Make sure your controller is fully charged, that's one thing I recommend. And I am using an iPhone for this example. Okay, so once we have it installed, you can see the main screen here. I don't have a live video feed, so I haven't turned my drone on yet. But one thing I like to do is make sure I'm on a track scale. I like Imperial, but you can do metric if you like the media squared and so on. Now, I like to confirm that I'm in mode 2, that's how I fly, but some people like mode 1 or even mode 3, or you can customize it to whoever you like. As you can see, it's pretty easy to see what's going on here. The animations are great, and it's really cleanly laid out. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into the main screen here. I have the drone hooked up, it's powered up, and I can check some additional settings, some pre-flight checklist. It does tell me I have to calibrate the drone, so in order to do that, Make sure your drone is away from metallic objects or metal objects and just kind of rotate the drone in different axes. It'll kind of walk you through it and once you do it completely, the animations will uh, go away. Alright, so it looks like we're ready to go. So let's go and check out this drone. We're going to fly in my house. I also will fly outside and see how well this guy does. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So yes, the drone does talk to you, and there's several sensors to make it very smooth. Uh, there's gyros, there's accelerometers, there's also altimeter. So when you press the takeoff button, it will actually go up about 1.5 meters and just stay there. Now you can see the footage is fairly smooth, has that 3-axis gimbal. And one thing I recommend is if you're a newbie pilot, don't ever try to fly this in your home, especially if you're in a smaller area, because you could cause some damage if you accidentally bump into something. Okay, so you can see my daughter there. She's definitely used to the drones. Uh, I guess she's used to my well, vacuums running around, so the noise doesn't affect her. Landing. So there's a lot of use case scenarios for drones. Uh, for this example, I'm taking a nice slow panoramic shot of the Rocky Mountains during the sunrise. It's kind of cool, kind of gives a cool eerie feeling. And I definitely like kind of flying around the neighborhood. Uh, just be mindful of people, uh, their privacy. Don't be looking in people's houses. But here's my house here. And if you're like a building inspector, it's great to check up on the roof to make sure there's no damage. Um, I've also seen drones at weddings, party events. Well, if you're more adventurous, kick it into sports modes and definitely fly around a little bit quicker. Or maybe turn the drone into a snowblower and blow off the snow there. Well, I want to give you guys a personal shout out. You guys are awesome, each and every one of you. You guys are the one that makes this channel possible. And thanks so much for watching these videos. It really does help out my channel. And I try to educate you guys to make sure these are the right products for you. Now, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. I do have experience with flying quadcopters, drones, and I can help you with like any regulations if you have any uh, questions. Usually the application will let you know if you can fly or not. Those are like no-fly zones. But also, I do recommend talking to your local authorities if you have any questions about the weight class and like if you're allowed to uh, fly. Because there is some regulations regarding with these uh, drones. But have a great rest of your day. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, be safe out there. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.